maybe this might sound Hi everyone and welcome back. The hair featured in today's video is provided by Ali Julia Hair. I don't remember the exact specs on it, but I do know that it's a loose wave and I will leave all the details below. It's three bundles and a closure that I made into a wig. Next, I'm gonna show you all what the closure in the wig looked like when I first got it. I feel like closures and lace always looks laid on pictures, on videos, on the wig head, but when you put it on your head, it's a different story. It's not a secret anymore. The guys know, the girls know, everybody knows. And whenever I made the wig, as you can see, the ends look skimp. Here's just what I like to do whenever my lace is looking a little crazy and I'm not feeling it, which is where I've been a lot lately. Because nobody wants to be walking around in the sunlight outside with orange looking lace. So if you receive some bad lace or you just don't like the look of lace, here's what you can do instead. Here's what the wig will look like if you just throw it on. Like I said, it's not a secret anymore. Like you can clearly see that even on video and it's even worse in person. So what I like to do instead is just shift my wig and the closure over to the center of my head. And whenever my braid down is done, I leave two braids in the front so that I can loosen them up or rebraid them as I please. And I'm just gonna take out that little bit. It doesn't require any heat, that's optional. If you're going for a straight look, you might wanna add some heat to it. I personally don't because I still want the protective factor of the wig. And I just add product and you'll see that it just blends right in effortlessly. Again, it doesn't take a lot of leave out, so it's not a lot of hassle involved in this look, which is one of the reasons why it has become my go-to for when I want the look of a wig, the convenience of a wig, without the look of the lace. So you just want to pull that wig up, and next I'm going in with my holy grail, my Play and Stay Eagle Styler Edge Control, and I'm just going to smooth that all over my edges, slick that as you please, <laughs> and then we're going to, of course, lay the edges, and that's optional. You know how I feel about this part. <laughs> Next, I'm taking all the hair and putting it up and making sure it's right where I want it. And next, I'm going to add some hair from the back of the wig so that I can have both my hair as well as hair from the unit. And then I'm taking a small, flexible ponytail holder. You want to make sure that this isn't one that's stiff because you're going to see in a couple of clips what we're going to do with it. You need to be able to move around. And this one just comes on braiding hair packages. Super simple. It's like the kitty hair ties. And then I'm taking my hair out of that ponytail and pinning it down. And we're going to cover that with some of the hair from the unit so that you cannot see my hair at all. All the hair that you see that's mine is slicked up and that's that. And then if you want that to lay even flatter, you can go in and add more pins. I'm just brushing this hair out. You see this looks like a completely different look and I didn't even have to add hair I mean, add heat to the wig itself. It's just that the lace isn't looking like a struggle anymore. Like I said, you could flatten that down some more. If I'm going for a half up, half down ponytail look, I'll leave it like it was before. If I'm going for a pinned up in the front look, then I'll just go through and add bobby pins. I know this video has more of a vo voiceover than most of my videos lately, but I felt the need to explain this because, like I said, this is how I've been wearing my wigs. I know a lot of girls do not like lace, but they also don't like a lot of hair out, so this is the perfect way to wear your unit. This is more like it. As you can see, I'm looking more pleased. So it's not really a half wig because it's less of your hair out, so I just call it a partial. We'll go with that. This was the look I wore when I got proposed to and sis, I would have been pissed if my lace was showing and looking like a struggle in pictures that will forever be around. Save yourself and use this hack. <laughs> Once again, the hair is provided by Ali Julia and I'll leave the link below as well as the specs if you wanna order this exact look. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Y'all have been showing a lot of love lately and I definitely appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>